This is a demonstration of how to save your icon when you're done as a PNG file that you can use online. Um, it's an image file, so you can also use it many other ways to save your design outside of Illustrator. So here you've got a completed icon, let's say, and one thing you'll want to do is clean up the artboard. So you want your artboard to represent um, the full thing. So you can select your entire icon and, you know, get it resize so that it fills your artboard. Make sure you always hold shift when you're resizing. But there's another way you can do this as well. The scale is not that important because since these are vector graphics, it's not going to change the quality whether it's bigger or smaller. So another option you can do is go to Object, Artboard, um, Fit to Selected Art or Artwork Bounds, and now you can make your artboard fit this size exactly. Let's say your icon is not an exact square or circle. You can also further adjust your artboard um, by clicking on the artboard tool icon over on the sidebar. And you have options here, um, especially this artboard options panel that comes up. So for example, you could change the size manually. Um, perhaps your width was only 200 or something if you had a, a smaller, um, a narrower icon, and then you could change it there. Once you have that in place, then you can go up to File and Export. And there are two options here that can work. You can do Export for Screens, um, but I still think that the Save for Web Legacy is really um, a pretty quick and easy way to do things. So I'm going to recommend that method. Unless you're exporting for a lot of different purposes at once, which increasingly is the case, this is still a good way to do it. So we're going to choose the PNG24 file type. You want to have make sure that transparency is checked. You can see the difference here. If I, if I check it, then you can see that it shows that checkerboard, meaning that's transparent. And that's what we want. This is the main reason you want to make your shapes solid shapes, is that that way they can be on any sort of background and have all the right parts be showing. Now, we're going to save it as a 300 pixel image, so I'm going to save that. The width and height should adjust automatically. And then I'm going to go ahead and say save, and this is where you'll be able to choose where you want to save it, and then you'll have your object saved exactly where you need it.